Hi, welcome to Books to Boardrooms with Dr. Kiran. Uh, today I have the privilege of having Mr. Henry uh, Kennedy. Uh, Mr. Henry Kennedy is the CEO of six international hotels. Uh, he's been in the hotel industry for more than four decades. So I'd like to hear from him. Can you just give a little background about your journey uh, in the hotel industry, hospitality industry, and today you are the CEO of uh, Swiss International Hotels. So just give a little background about yourself as well as about the Swiss International Hotels. Sure. Um, <coughs> I've been uh, born in a family, third generation in the hotel business in the Netherlands. And uh, it was, we had a hotel at home and uh, at the age of 14, I started working, uh, helping my father in the business uh, as a waiter, later on as a cook, and those sort of things. Uh, by the age of 14, I was uh, really convinced that my future was in the hotel business. And I wanted to go very much to the, let's say, the hotel school university in The Hague. Um, and I, my grandparents lived there, and I took the tram just to look at the building of where the school was established. That's how I was motivated uh, to go there. After that, I uh, started working for, an, uh, after the hotel school, I started working for an English hotel company, which I did not uh, particularly like, because of a lot of internal politics there. And then I moved to another company, uh, Golden Tulip Hotels, and I did that for over 26 years. Uh, in the last 10 years, I was uh, also there, the shareholder and the CEO of that company. Actually, I brought Golden Tulip into uh, the, the Middle East uh, by uh, appointing a gentleman who was very active here. And it's uh, still a pleasure to see that the company is doing well there. Uh, after uh, 2010, I was given the opportunity to take over Swiss International Hotels, originally a hotel group in Switzerland. Um, I looked at the business model uh, which they had at the time, and it looked very much like uh, an automobile, uh, take the Peugeot brand, out of uh, 1948, uh, and everything was there except the engine. So <laughs> a car without an engine doesn't come very far. So, but I liked the brand name, Swiss International. So I said to the owners at the time, I'll do it uh, in exchange for the majority of the shares, which uh, we did. We uh, uh, agreed and then I started rebuilding the business model. It was actually for the first time that I had an opportunity to do that, to start a business model with a very strong brand uh, and now I had to put a very strong effective uh, engine in uh, the vehicle. Uh, the business has changed dramatically after introduction of internet in the 90s. But nowadays, uh, we have a lot further changes. Uh, we are living in the digital world. And that has also for the hotel business many, many changes. And um, that's what we're doing. Uh, we have strategically chosen to be active only in Africa, Middle East, and South Asia. Uh, that is the, the geographic area where we operate. So how many hotels uh, under the name of Swiss International Hotels and Resorts now? We have 36 contracts signed. At the moment, there are 15 hotels in operation. And the other hotels are in different stages of construction. And all these hotels are similar type, or do you have business hotels, family hotel, vacation hotels? Uh, is there a differentiation in terms of the types of the hotels right now? available so can you can you share some thoughts about the different products what you uh, offer under the brand uh, in the old days uh, let's say the 80s we really had hotels for leisure and hotels for business nowadays uh, that has been blurred uh, because we go to a, a nice hotel 
with an excellent accommodation for the purpose of why we were going for uh, to a hotel. Uh, so I stay away a little bit from your typical business or typical leisure hotels. It's a mixed business. Um, the, we have, as I said, 36 hotels signed. It's an uh, average size of about 120 rooms. Uh, we are active in uh, over 20 locations in eight different countries. So when you say 15 active, so the rest is the contract is signed, the work is going on. So what are the key strategies you adopt when you choose the location? So you specifically told Africa, Middle East and some Asian countries. So what is your strategy that okay, I'm going to go in this particular country and what is the logic behind that? Well, when I took it over the business, that was 2010. That was actually in the middle of the uh, credit crisis, the financial or so certain people call it the banking crisis. Um, Europe uh, to uh, Europe, is not a good place to start a hotel company uh, because of the high capital intensity. Uh, you need to either buy it or you need to lease it. And that is both what we will not do. Um, I moved the company for that reason uh, to the Middle East, to uh, the Emirate of Ras al Khaimah. There is where we are headquartered today. And I did that because of my previous experience with hotel development in the Middle East that uh, goes faster, is better, easier. And Africa, the same thing. Uh, Africa, the key reason is, of course, the uh, middle class, uh, which is so highly in development, and that is. Uh, same in the Middle East, same in South Asia, uh, that uh, average age is so much younger uh, than we were used to. Um, so that it's growing, spending power is better, and that's why we said at a certain moment uh, we will not go anywhere else but in these th three sections. So, so if, I, if I look at an academic point of view, so you definitely looked at your uh political, environmental, social, uh, technological, uh, you know, evaluation to identify the, the so the pastel plays a very important role in academic terms, we say, to identify the right location where, where you want to start. So, ba so when, and when you found out that, okay, these are the locations which you want to start based on your analysis, so whom you position uh, or who are your real competitors in this segment? Because, you know, in here you can even get a room for 150 to 200 dirhams up to 25,000 to 30,000 dirhams, you know, you so that's a big, so you, so thousands of hotels are there, but you have a certain competition which you look at the, the services, the price point, the customer, the, the target customer, so whom is your real competitor in your market? Uh, that varies, of course, uh, per location, per hotel. Every hotel has their own competitive set, and you have to look at uh, competition from that point of view, uh, per location. Uh, I can uh, say in broad terms, Swiss International is probably competing with groups as uh, Radisson maybe, or uh, some of the Marriott brands, some of the Accor brands. Uh, but since there is also such an enormous consolidation going of brands within larger groups, only Marriott has 30 brands. Uh, it's sort of a booking.com themselves. Yeah. And uh, the same applies to our core. Um, yeah, but that is uh, the, uh, the aspect of competition. So, you told you started such a long year back in the hotel industry and now the customer perception, the customer way of booking the hotel has completely changed. Uh, you know, now today I, when I book a hotel, I really know how somebody else, uh, the feedback of someone who stayed before, like booking.com, Trivago, whichever online platform which I which I use. So are you available in all those platforms like all other hotel groups? And uh, what is your uh, customer acquisition strategy? So how you how you ensure that more customers come to you? Because being is a new brand for this particular market. Yeah. Um, therefore, um, the answer to your first question is yes. 
we are there. We have an excellent uh, central reservation system called SwissRes uh, that is interfaced with all the OTAs, uh, all the booking platforms, as well, of, of course, with our own uh, Swiss web. Um, what we do together with the hotels to, in order to attract visitors uh, is nowadays a lot of digital marketing campaigns. And uh, that, uh, that works unbelievable. Uh, we had a contract signing for a new hotel in Pakistan in uh, Rawalpindi uh, last weekend. Uh, then uh, my colleague in Pakistan is, uh, I call him uh, every now and then, Mr. Facebook, because he put everything on Facebook and LinkedIn and others. Uh, it brought him five extra leads for new hotels. It social is, media is powerful. It's unbelievable, unbelievable. Nowadays, the younger generation says, yeah, hello, dear, were you sleeping? <laughs> But it is such a big difference when, between when I started in the business, in yeah. commercial fields, and today, which is so much more technical and still commercially driven, of course. So, as I like to end this interview by asking one of the most important things. You are in the service industry. All the hotels are giving great service. I mean, everybody claim to give great service. Your social media messaging or every hotel, hotel's messaging service remain the same, that they provide the best of for the value for money. How you differentiate your hotel uh, from the competition? Well, first of all, I completely agree with you. I mean, the, the supply of uh, eating, drinking and sleeping uh, is good at many, many hotels. So you cannot differentiate on that area. We are Swiss international hotels. That means that in our brand name is the name hidden of a country and a very specific country. Everybody in the world knows Switzerland. Uh, maybe certain spots in Africa not, but <laughs> uh, everybody knows in the world uh, Switzerland. And also, uh, where do you associate Switzerland with? You associate it with quality, uh, items like uh, uh, very accurate people. When I come back in Switzerland, I always say, uh, here is where they vacuum clean the streets and the forests and the mountains because it's incredibly cl clean there and also green. Um, all those aspects like uh, accurate, efficient, what the Swiss are, uh, we have adopted that as values in our way of uh, granting hospitality to our guests. So that's great. I think uh, you already have, you told that the hotels are opening and signing the contract. Uh, Pakistan is one of the prominent markets, Saudi Arabia. Can we see soon um, a Swiss international hotel in UAE? Yes, I think so. But it is also... Uh, uh, people ask you, why did you plan to go there? That's not the, the way how it works. It is the real estate development industry who needs brands to build the, their business. So, and that is uh, all of our customers in, uh, in Pakistan, uh, where we have now 12 hotels signed within the last uh, two and a half years. Uh, they are all real estate development companies. And, uh, and then that's why it's good that we have uh, brands in our group for three categories. We have deluxe, upscale, and mid-scale. Uh, mid so, so I hope one day we will uh, see uh, soon a Swiss international hotel in uh, UAE. Uh, thanks a lot for your time. Thanks a lot for giving... Uh, quite a lot of insights about the hotel industry and your career journey and uh, how to start, where to start, what are the things you should, one should look before they start or sign, uh, considering this a very competitive environment and very less uh, differentiation. Uh, I wish you all the very best and uh, thanks a lot for coming for this uh, session. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure uh, to have been here. Thank you. Thank you.